Hi guys, this is Delaware Studios. You're welcome to another episode of Android Programming. We'll be talking about the Android floating action button in which we're going to incorporate the floating button into the list view and also the recycler view adapter. Okay, I'll be moving straight to Android Studio, which is my development environment for this application. Where we'll be talking about the Gradle scripts and uh, the project and the module session of the Gradle script. In the module session, we have a uh, compiled dependencies, the app convert, compact version 7, and also the support design 23.4.0. Uh, we also have the floating button from the Mel NY KOV. Okay, this is 1.3.1.0, rather. Okay, and uh, my compiler SDK version is 23. Uh, let's look at our build gradle, the project session. We only have the class part, uh, which is uh, the build gradle 1.5.0. Okay, uh, I'll be looking at the layout files uh, where we have the about view XML. That's just the about of the about uh, session of the application. Is at uh, the uh, the most uh, button at the far right corner. Uh, we have the fragment list view. We have the fragment recycler view, and also the fragment scroll view with the list view. Okay, let's look at the the list view. Uh, whereby we have the text view as the tag. Uh, the drawable padding is 8 dp, the padding bottom 8 dp, the left right 16 dps, uh, the padding top 8 dp with a text color of slightly gray. Uh, let's look at the fragment list view. Okay, uh, this is a frame layout with a match parent layout with a night. The list view tag follows uh, with the layout with a night match parent. And also the header dividers enabled force, rather. Okay, we have to include this uh, floating action button uh, whereby we assign an ID called Fab and also from, we got to, uh, from a drawable which is going to be the source uh, picture. Okay, uh, we'll be looking at the fragment recycler view for the recycler view. Uh, we have, you know, the recycler view is just like uh, the list view uh, actually. Uh, the recycler view is the new uh, uh, list view in the Android material design. Okay. Uh, we have the Android support version 7 widget recycler view whereby the scroll bars are, are vertical and also we have to include the floating action button uh, okay just like the way we did with the list view let's get to see the scroll view uh, the scroll view is a frame layout with the layout with a night match parent and also we need to include the observable scroll view you know uh, which we, which the layout with a night also match parents and the linear layout uh, follows with a divider called drawable divider and we have to close up the observable scroll view and now we need to include a floating action button okay about we have the id fab and also uh the drawable okay i'll be moving straight let's look at our drawable files where we have the uh the add white which is the uh the floating action button there is a launcher and also we have the divider XML okay I uh, will be looking at our Java classes what about we have the divider item decoration the list view adapter the main activity and the recycler view adapter well, first of all look at the main activity which is the launcher activity for this application okay uh, we have to import uh, the version 7 fragments the fragment transaction action bar and also we imported the, the floating action button from fab the observable scroll view and the scroll direction listener okay uh, the main activity extends up compact activity and uh, we have the init action bar method which is passed into the uncreate method uh, whereby we instantiate the action bar and also uh, get uh, set the text and also set a tab listener to it you know whereby we have the tabs whereby you're going to listen to each tab so on tab selected uh, the fragment transaction is going to call and get its ID from the content. On tab unselected, uh, the fragment transaction two is going to be called. And why the tab is selected to, you know, these are just the three calls uh, in tab selection. Uh, we have the action bar add tab. Okay, whereby we set the text to recycler view. This is uh, for the list view. Okay, uh, we also do the same uh, process: the tab selected, the tab unselected, and the tab reselected. Now we're going to also do it for the scroll view. The same uh, methods are being called. Okay, 
we have the on create options menu whereby it's going to call on the menu of the application and now we have the on option item selected okay which is going to tell us which item is actually selected so if the id is about uh, i is going to do this for the about session where i actually included uh, the about of the application and we have the list view fragment that extends fragment uh whereby we start share the list view we get this idea of lists and also the areas there is an area of countries whereby it's going to be populated in the list view the floating action button is being passed as an object called pop whereby we attach to list view to it and also there is a scroll down and also on scroll list now also we have the recycler view fragment for the recycler view in particular uh, this is for the list this is for the recycler whereby we have the inflator the container and the safe instance state as the three parameters we passed into and now we instantiate the recycler view we set the as fixed size we set the item animator and we set the layout manager and also add the item decorate decoration okay uh we're going to also do for the scroll view fragment uh, whereby we inflate it uh the operate method is going to inflate the fragment and uh the scroll view is being uh the observable scroll view is being uh, initialized and gets the die deep scroll view or by uh there's a for loop for countries for each country so there's going to be a loop for each country where it's going to populate uh, the list and also the floating action bar is being instantiated with the bar bar the attached to scroll view is being uh, added to this okay uh let's look at the uh the list view adapter uh whereby we have which extend the base adapter okay and the m context and m data set data set are the fields being called the list view constructor we have the get count the get item and the get item id and also the get view based on the position the convert view and the parent okay uh let's look at the recycler view adapter uh just like the list view adapter uh for this extends the recycler view adapter we have the m context and the m data set Okay, we need to undo that. Uh, okay, that's fine. Uh, we have a constructor for the recycler view adapter, and also the public view order on create view order. Whereby we pass to parameters the parent and the view type, and also we need to bind the view either at uh, the view order rather to the uh, to to the UI, which is being done with two parameters, the view order and the position okay uh we'll look at the manifest whereby uh, we only have the launcher activity as the launcher and uh that's fine uh this application is quite short and very very useful in the course of uh, introducing a floating action body whereby when you scroll up the action body uh disappears so when you scroll up it, it appears and when you scroll down it disappears so that's just what the uh effects is being done on the actual button uh, which is quite uh, good you can use it in the list view and also in the recycler view adapter i would like to upload this uh, source file to my github account and also i uh, will be launching this in an android emulator where i need to uh, test this up and make it so that you guys can see how the flow actually is uh, here we go we have the floating action button uh displayed in our um, emulator with a list view the recycler view and the scroll view okay and also we have the action button okay the action button here so on scroll up it disappears on scroll down it reappears okay okay all right can you see the action button so on the click on the action button i would probably give a toast you know Let's get to look at the recycler view. Just the same way with the scroll view. Okay. This is how to actually add up your floating action button into your Android application based on different uh, list, uh, different uh, menu. Okay. I have the about. Okay. All right. Uh, this is like uh, this is a dialogue by the floating action button in the library by the Studios.
you can also get uh, the source file from the github.com delivery slash android loading action button okay that's where you can get the source file that's fine uh i'll be stopping here in pause so thank you very very much for hanging out with me throughout the session and don't forget to subscribe to my channel have a wonderful time bye bye